to The Blessing Report with Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy. And in this video, we are covering the origins of Halloween. Is Halloween demonic? Should Christians celebrate Halloween? So hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications. Again, this is Winston Mayo, and let's get to the show. That dopeness, we just read up. He got game now, call up Jesus. This all my brothers surf, yeah. This the season. Welcome to The Blessing Report, the channel for edification, entertainment, comedy, and conviction. This is Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy. And let's get to the show. Should Christians celebrate Halloween? What are the origins and is Halloween demonic? So we're going to start by going natural with just facts, background, history, and statistics, and then get spiritual with just the ramifications of it. So. Halloween is an American holiday with origins um, from Ireland, um, the Irish, um, Scottish, Germans, and basically um, immigrants that came to the New World that had Celtic practices. So worldwide, um, Halloween is practiced in the United States, Canada, and uh, Mexico with their own holiday of um, Dia de los Muertos, which is translated the Day of the Dead. So statistics show that crime rates increase significantly uh, with Halloween with a concentration in violent crimes, peaking in human abduction and kidnapping, human sac sacrifices and sexual crimes with um, being the net main corporates and um, this is compared to other holidays that have more alcohol consumption like um, New Year's Eve so Halloween has like the top crime rates per any other day um, unlike um, maybe in comparison to like the Super Bowl or something so origins um, Halloween comes from the Celtic Holloway um, holiday um, Samhain so that's S-A-M-H-A-N, um, which was a pagan holiday that believed that the dead would rise on this day and would move amongst the living and you will make contact with ghosts, spirits, and demons. So where does um, Halloween candy and costumes come from? So as a tactic to not be interfered with spirits, demons, and ghouls, um, humans would put on ghosts, spirits, and demon costumes to be able to blend in with the spirits, ghosts, and ghouls. And where does the um, candy come from? It is believed that when a spirit or a demon would visit your house, to appease them, you will give them some type of treat like a candy or some type of food, and then they will leave your house alone. So those are the origins of the practices when it comes to candy and um, costumes. And then when it comes to pumpkins and jack-o'-lanterns, it was believed that lighting a jack-o'-lantern uh, would ward off evil spirits, but also it was a representation of a, an immortal soul being the flame and the light in the pumpkin being trapped in the housing place, which is purgatory or the pumpkin carcass of the jack and lantern So, um, before the video, I was a little on the line when it came to should Christians um, celebrate Halloween and after doing a lot of research, I'm less on the line now. So that was all the historical facts about Halloween. But um, just with my research, and um, it, just so you know, you can fact check me with just a Google search. All of this you can look up on the internet. Um, I'm not comfortable with the origins or um, the occult practices, the satanic and um, witchcraft um, practices of Halloween because um, I saw an interview with a practicing witch and a Wiccan. Um, you can look those up also. Um, people actually do a lot of witchcraft. This is like a great holiday for them. This is one of their top holy days that they um, believe in. And um, they believe that on Halloween, um, October 31st to like November 2nd, that the veil between 
the natural realm and the spiritual is less thick. So um, demons and spirits um, can have contact and communication with um, humans or witches or the Wiccans or whoever. So from a spiritual aspect, they believe full heartedly in this. And then even if we do um, Dia de los Muertos, um, in Mexican culture, they believe the same thing, that on this particular day in the spiritual realm, the dead make contact with the living. So I don't feel comfortable myself with the practices that are multicultural, that say that there's something about this day where the spiritual realm is heightened to a degree that you can make contact with demons, ghouls, ghosts, and spirits. And then um, I just don't like the spiritual ramifications and the demonic and the satanic because from a um, Christian perspective, we know better. Um, Ephesians 6 says we wrestle not with uh, flesh and blood, but um, spirits and principalities and rulers and darknesses and high places. So if we know our weapon of warfare is spiritual, why would we openly engage in activities that is counter to our faith? It's like we're asking to make contacts with demons and devils and um, spirits. Why, if we know that these dark, demonic and satanic beings are evil, why do we want to actively engage in it? And then um, the same interview where the witch was talking about the practices, they were like, they love that people knowingly or unknowingly engage in Halloween, oh, that's my time, or Samhain because um, it doesn't matter to them. They're still doing the practices. So if they don't care um, if you consider yourself one of them or not, but you're engaging in their practices, they consider you to be engaging in their practices. So how much more do these spirits um, also? So I just don't feel comfortable with the fact that witches and the cult um, actively engage in human abduction, um, kidnapping, and human sacrifice on this day that I just don't want to, I don't know, be a, a side effect or a bystander in that or advocate for something that is not holy and does not glorify God. So overall, I just think the devil um, enjoys holidays like this where we can be desensitized to spiritual things. So of course you're going to commercialize it and monopolize it to a degree that um, people disbelieve in demons and witches and spirits and ghosts so that you can move in secret or whatever so the reason i was online being like eh, i'm a little more open um to it because um of like my history and my background um i, I did some trick-or-treating as a kid but Majorly, I remember that there was this church and all the little games were like Bible story games. And so I remember getting in a big old Jonah whale and getting candy for that. So it was stuff like that or trunk or treat, um, certain Christian um, churches do or organizations. Or um, if y'all know the Tribulation Trail, which I think is really good um, with it being a depiction of Armageddon and the second coming of Christ and the trials and tribulations of Revelation. So I like um, the Christian alternatives because you are not actively engaging in occult practices, demonic witchcraft or um, satanic practices um, that could open you up. So that's why I was kind of on the line. but. Just hearing that um, interview really stirred up my spirit to be uncomfortable with it. So is Halloween demonic? Yes, clearly. Um, what are the origins? It has um, Celtic origins. It's an American holiday. It's not a Christian holiday. It doesn't come from Eastern culture. It's Western. And um, should Christians practice it? I strongly say no, 
uh, for Romans 15, I mean 14, anything you don't do in faith is considered sin. So what are you doing in faith when you celebrate this holiday? Uh, 1 Corinthians 10, um, everything you do, due to the glory of God. How is God getting glory out of this holiday? And then I think it's 2 Timothy that say in the last days, men will be lovers of self, lovers of pleasure, and will not love God. So I really believe that pleasure and entertainment, why, why are we doing this um, holiday? Just for fun, just because it's in our culture, just because um, our parents let us, like there are things that we need to question the origins and the motives. So that's my time, but let me hear from you. Um, do you celebrate Halloween? Are you con going to continue celebrating Halloween um, since you got these origins and you know where the practices come from? Or what are your Christ, um, Christian alternatives like Trunk or Treat or um, the Tribulation Trail um, or any other church events? So if this video has been informative to you, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn on your bell notifications that you get all the new um, videos or whatever in this new season. And remember to connect with us in the description box below to um, have all our social media platforms. So that's YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and Reddit. And um, videos will be weekly. Hopefully I can stick to the schedule. <laughs> and um, all the Bible verses, everything important is in the description box below. And this video has been supported by do -do 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 -do, my book, Searching for Land. And check what just came to the stores. <laughs> my new book, The Science of Salvation, the manual for manipulating and manufacturing faith. Really excited about this. And thank you for watching. I'm really grateful for y'all. And I love you. And uh, thanks. <laughs> and remember that God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing today? Thanks for watching. Share the video. He got game now. Call up Jesus. This all my brothers surf. Yeah, this the season. I'm a teen wolf, got my teeth in. All we serve is hope here. We just read up. He gave me two racks, bought back three of them. We used to try.